So now we're going to do experiment 3.2, exploring a flame's oxygen use. And so in your notebook, you're going to be on page 428. In your textbook, it's on page 65. And so the purpose of this experiment is to identify the presence of oxygen in the air. All right, so the materials for this experiment are three glass containers of different sizes. So we have a big one, a medium-sized one, and a small one. And we need a tea light, so a very small tea light, a ceramic glass or metal pie plate. So here at home I'm using this, but you have a, a plate you can use also. A stopwatch, <clears throat> I'm going to use this one, and a water-filled glass. So here's a glass that's just going to be off to the side that I'm going to fill with some water, and that's just to put our uh, match in when we're done with it. So that's off to the side. So the question we're answering is, how can we observe the presence of oxygen in air? We can't see it. How can we observe that it's actually there? So in your notebook, you're going to write under hypothesis. Write what you think will happen to the flame when it is placed under each of the three glasses. So we're going to light the, the flame, and we're going to put a glass, these three glasses, over it. <clears throat> so take a minute, pause this video, and write in your hypothesis, a sentence or two, and what you think are going to happen with the three when the three different glasses are put on top. So we're going to start by placing the candle in the center of the pie plate that. We're going to hold the stopwatch and get ready for timing. So I'm going to change my watch to be in stopwatch format. We're going to light the candle with the match and start the stopwatch as soon as the candle is lit. And drop the match into the water filled glass. So we're going to take a match. All right. And so while one person lights, the other person will start the stopwatch. I'm doing this all at once, but. All right, so we start the stopwatch. After several minutes, we're going to note if the candle's flame has burned out. All right, so we're going to sit here for several minutes. So actually, I'm going to ask you to pause the video, and I want at least three minutes of just kind of watching, seeing if the candle's going to blow out on its own, um, observe what happened, and then restart the video. So pause it now. All right, so three minutes has been up, <laughs> and we still have a candle with a flame. So we're going to blow it out. All right, and now we're going to move on to the next step. So we're going to light the candle again, and we're going to get our stopwatch ready. And then step seven is carefully take the smallest glass container and place it upside down over the candle and start the stopwatch as soon as you set the container on the pie plate. All right, I'm actually going to take my stopwatch off this time. So we're going to light the candle. You should be doing this, lighting the candle. Putting it in your cup of water. We're getting the stopwatch ready. And as soon as I put this over it, my stopwatch is going to start. And we're going to watch what happens. Oh my goodness. 3.7 seconds for that flame to go out. So we're going to come over onto our data table, which is on page 429. For step nine, record the time it took for the flame to go out inside the smallest glass. So three, mine said 3.7 seconds, really fast. So 3.7 seconds. Now we're going to record, or now we're going to do steps five to nine again, but with 
the medium sized glass. So here's our medium sized glass. So we're going to take our match again, relight our candle. All right, I'm ready here with my stopwatch. Watch it. And it's out. Oh, I got to stop my stopwatch. It was after nine seconds that time. So I'm going to write again, record in my data table, step 10, record the time it took for the plane to go out inside the medium sized glass. So I would write nine seconds. And now I'm going to do the same thing again but for my largest glass. You can probably guess what might happen. Is it going to be longer for it to go out, shorter for it to go out? These are all things you're, you're thinking, but then we're going to actually see. We're going to do the science and actually see what happens. You see, I'm putting, I have this water. They go right in there. All right, so I'm ready. Start my timer and go. And up. So that took 17 seconds. So I'm going to write in my table again under step 11. Record the time it took for the plane to go out inside the largest glass. And that was 17 seconds for me. So I'd write that in. And then we want to clean everything up. And we are going to also turn to the back, the next page. It says results. Yeah. Write what happened to the candle flame in each glass. So we have our data table, but we want to write it in sentence form as what our results were. And then our conclusions are right why the flame went out when it was under the glasses and why it took different amounts of time to become extinguished. So we're going to pause this video here, take some time to fill out this conclusion. You can draw a picture to go with it. I think drawing pictures is a great way to show what was happening in an experiment. Draw, write a few sentences and draw a picture, and then we'll move on to the next experiment.